నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు జై స్వరాజ్య టీవీ అండ్ జైఎస్ డబ్ల్యూ టీవీ నేషనల్ బ్యాటరీ డే రాబోతుందండి అందులో భాగంగా ఒక స్పెషల్ ప్రోగ్రాం మనం చేయడం జరుగుతుంది భారతీయులు ఎక్కడున్నా సరే తమ సత్తాన్ని చాటుతూ ఉంటారు ముఖ్యంగా పిల్లలు కూడా సర్వీస్ చేయడంలో చాలా ముందు ఉంటారండి అందులో భాగంగా సో అమెరికాలో ఉన్నప్పటికీ కూడా మన తెలుగు పిల్లలు సేవ చేయడంలో ముందుంటారు అని చెప్పడానికి వీరే నాతో పాటు ఉన్న పిల్లలే బెస్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ అండి సో మై మై రీసైకిల్ బ్యాటరీ అని చెప్పేసి డాట్ ఓఆర్జి ఒక ఒక నాన్ ప్రాఫిట్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ వాళ్ళు స్టార్ట్ చేయడం జరిగిందండి సో ఈ వేస్ట్ అనేది ప్రతి ఒక్క కంట్రీలో ఎంత పెద్ద సమస్యగా మారుతుందో మన అందరికీ తెలుసు దీనిలో చాలామందికి తెలియదు కూడా చాలామంది తెలియక ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ని బ్యాటరీస్ని చాలా కేర్లెస్గా బీన్స్లో అలా రోడ్ సైడ్ పడేస్తూ ఉంటారు అది చాలా చాలా పెద్ద ప్రాబ్లం కాబోతుందండి ఫ్యూచర్ జనరేషన్స్ని వాళ్ళ లైఫ్స్ కూడా పే చేయాల్సినంత బిగ్ ప్రాబ్లం కాబోతుంది అయితే ఇంత చిన్న పిల్లలు అయినప్పటికీ కూడా వారు రాబోతున్న పెద్ద సమస్యని ముందుగానే గుర్తించి ఒక మంచి ఆర్గనైజేషన్ని స్టార్ట్ చేశారండి గుడ్ కాజ్ తోటి మంచి రెస్పాన్స్ వస్తుంది సో టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ లోనే వారి ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ని స్టార్ట్ చేయడం జరిగింది నిహాల్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న నిహాలే దానికి ఫౌండర్ సో వీరంతా కూడా తమకు తోచిన విధంగా ఆర్గనైజేషన్ లో పార్టిసిపేట్ చేస్తూ దాని గురించి ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి తెలిసి అవేర్నెస్ క్రియేట్ చేసే విధంగా చేయడమే కాకుండా సో ఆ బ్యాటరీస్ అన్నిటిని కలెక్ట్ చేసేసి సో రీసైకిల్ ఏ విధంగా చేయాలి అని చెప్పేసి పీపుల్ కి అవేర్నెస్ క్రియేట్ చేయడమే కాకుండా ఆ బ్యాటరీస్ ని రీసైకిల్ ఒక సంస్థ తోటి అటాచ్ అవ్వడం జరిగింది వాళ్ళు కాల్ టు రీసైకిల్ అనే సంస్థ తోటి సో ఆ సంస్థ నుంచి వీరు ఇలాంటి బీన్స్ పొందుతున్నారండి ఈ బీన్స్ ని పీపుల్ ఎవరైతే ఎక్కువగా ఎక్కడ తిరుగుతూ ఉంటారో అంటే వైఎంసిఏ గ్రోసరీ స్టోర్స్ స్కూల్స్ వీటన్నిటిలో కూడా ఈ బీన్స్ ని పెట్టడం జరుగుతుంది సో గుడ్ కాస్ తోటి పెడుతున్నారు కాబట్టి ఎవరైతే తెలియకుండా తమకు అంటే తాము తప్పు చేస్తున్నామని తెలియకుండానే చాలా మంది ఇలా పారేస్తూ ఉన్నారు ఇలాంటి ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ని కానీ బ్యాటరీస్ని కానీ సో వారంతా కూడా తెలుసుకొని వారి ఇంటి నుంచి స్వయంగా తీసుకువచ్చి బ్యాటరీస్ అన్నిటినీ దీనిలో ఈ కవర్స్ని ఉపయోగిస్తూ చాలా పద్ధతిగా దీంట్లో పెడుతూ ఉన్నారండి సో దీని తర్వాత కూడా చాలా పెద్ద ప్రాసెస్ ఉంటుంది ఆ ప్రాసెస్ అంతా జరగాలంటే వీరంతా టుగెదర్గా చేస్తున్నారు కాబట్టి అదంతా జరుగుతుందండి సో సాటర్డే సండే అంటే ఆడుకోవడానికో లేకపోతే ఎక్కడికైనా బయటకు వెళ్ళి సినిమా చూసి ఎంజాయ్ చేయడానికో టైం కేటాయించకుండా దానిలో కొంత పాటిని ఇలాంటి కార్యక్రమాలకి కేటాయించి మనందరికీ తెలియకుండా మనకు ఎంతగానో హెల్ప్ చేస్తూ గొప్ప సర్వీస్ చేస్తున్నారు సో నేషనల్ బ్యాటరీ డే సందర్భంగా వీరందరినీ ఈరోజు మనం కలవబోతున్నాం మన ఈ స్పెషల్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ద్వారా హీ ఈజ్ నిహాల్ హీ స్టార్టెడ్ రీసైకిల్ మై బ్యాటరీ డాట్ ఓఆర్జి సో హీఈస్ డూయింగ్ గ్రేట్ థింగ్స్ మోర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ హీ టెల్ అస్ ఓకే సో లైక్ ఐ మెన్షన్ బిఫోర్ మై నేమ్ శ్రీని హో తమన ఐమ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ ఐమ్ 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 స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ సెవెన్ ట్రేడ్ ఇన్ వుడ్రోస్ అండ్ మినోస్టో అండ్ ఎరస్ న్యూ జర్సీ నావ్ ఐమ్ డోంట్ టు బి థాటింగ్ అబౌట్ మై జర్నీ హౌ డా బిడ్యాన్ సో మై జర్నీ బిడ్యాన్ ఆన్ మై టెన్త్ బర్త్డే విత్ స్పెషల్ ఇన్ మోర్ వెజ్ దెన్ వన్ ఐ సాప్ డిసైడ్ మై డాడ్ టు వాచ్ ద న్యూస్ అండ్ దెన్ ఐ స్టోరీ విజ్ డిస్ప్లేడ్ ఆన్ ద న్యూస్ విత్ బేసిక్లీ డెవ్ స్టేడ్ మీ ఐ లిటి మై అండ్ బ్యాటరీ కంప్లీట్లీ ఎక్స్ప్లోరెడ్ ఇన్ అ వేస్ట్ డిస్పోజ్ అ ప్లాన్ ఇన్ కాలిఫోర్నియా It caused unimaginable damage. It caused in millions of dollars worth of damage. I clearly remember watching all the chaos and everything occur on the day of my birthday. And it was super scary to see. So after I saw this on the news, I felt very, very angry that nobody was even taking action after seeing something very devastating like this. And I also felt very sad that our Mother Earth had to go through all of this pressure. So this is when I started recycling my battery to bring awareness and also to provide free battery bins to all of the people so they can get a chance to recycle their used batteries properly to make our beloved Earth a better place to live. Okay, you met so many people too. Yesterday also you met... Uh... These are batteries. So this is how you just place them in the battery bin. But there are some batteries which are more than 9 volts, which require terminal protection. So if you have a battery like that, just take a plastic bag, put, it, put your 9 volt battery inside that, and just put it in the battery bin. This prevents fires from occurring during transportation. So this is a 9 volt battery, which means it has to be placed in a bag, and then we have to drop it off inside the battery bin. So first we have to take a bag, one of the big bags. And then we place it into the bag. Okay. Now we have to take off. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then now we have to place it into the bin. This is how you recycle a 9 volt or more than 9 volts battery. 
Hi friends, this is Swati. You are watching Jai Swaraja and Jai SWTV. Uh, today I am going to show you splendid kids. Kids who are at this age, they are busy with their studies and uh, playing with games. But whoever with me, they are in addition to uh, doing some responsible things, they are helping uh, to protect environment and uh, our society and uh, us too. So what they are doing, uh, let me introduce them. They will tell in their words. So what's your name? My name is Srini Haldamana. Edison Mayor Sam Joshi yes. and uh, Senator. So what did they say? So basically, they said that they were going to be supporting us, so we talked to them about the Recycle My Battery organization, and we need more support to, to, like, to spread this awareness to everybody about the battery recycling process. So we asked them to support, so now they're supporting us, and they're spreading the awareness to everybody about this battery recycling process. So that is how we were able to educate more than 2 million plus people, and because of this awareness spreading, we were able to recycle more than 250,000 plus used batteries. Okay, do you have any goals? My goal is to, so currently there are more than 15 billion batteries which are carelessly being thrown away each year worldwide. My goal and my ultimate dream, which I want to achieve in the next 10 to 15 years, is to bring down the 15 billion batteries thrown away every year to zero. So zero batteries are thrown away every year to make our beloved Earth a better place to live. How many batteries did you collect in a year? In a year, like about 100,000. So we place battery bins in more than 250 plus locations. So peop this battery bin has a capacity of more than 400 batteries. Because of that, we were able to collect more than 100,000 plus used batteries in like one year. Okay. I have another kid with me. What's your name? Nitya Gopika Tamina. What is your part in this organization? I'm going to talk about the Recycle My Battery Pledge. I speak up when I see people throwing batteries in the trash. I reach out to others and spread awareness of the battery recycling process. I serve Mother Earth and make it a better place to live. And please do remember, if you have a used battery, recycle it into battery bins. Nice. What's your name? Risha Vyas. Okay. What is your part in this organization? I'm an executive board member. Okay. What do you want to say? I want to say, so my journey was before I learned about this, my mom used to use re, like powerless batteries and she used to like recycle them to Home Depot. And then sooner or later, we both found out about uh, Recycle My Battery. And we're so sad that like 15, more than 15 billion batteries are uh, tr thrown in the trash every year. So we decided to help and join Recycle My Battery. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Rayan Chpavit Badu. Are you be a part of starting this one? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say? What is your part in this argument? My part in this organization is a vice president and I want to say that our battery bins are very trustworthy. So like whenever you throw a battery in our battery bin, it doesn't go to any landfill or it doesn't get like, it, got, it doesn't harm anything. It goes to Call to Recycle, a very trustworthy nonprofit organization that we partner with and they properly dispose these batteries. And I would also like to say that if a battery goes in the trash can, it will go to the landfills. And then the, the battery will create a toxic chemical sleet cage where it will contaminate all the food and water that, and all the plants that grow at, over there. Which means it is contaminating the water and food that we drink and eat. So I, I, that's what I want to say. And I would like to also share that Recycle My Battery is a great campaign. Yeah. After fill this one, once, uh, what did you do with the, with these batteries? So with these bra batteries, we we like we sort out like we open the batteries and check if they're all properly placed. So and we we'll check if they're ready to get properly disposed. If they're not, we sort them out and we get them ready. If they need to have terminal protection, then I give it with like duct tape and all of the materials that we need. And then I properly sort them out and I give it to the FedEx and then they will ship it to Call to Recycle and they will properly recycle the batteries as I have said. It's a long process, right? How to manage all those things? You are studying games and this one. To manage this, we have to do a lot and I'm a fourth grader. I have lots of responsibility. So I make a timetable and keep everything in hand. I manage everything. So I think that answers your question. What's your name? 
Um, my name is Jashmita Sapa and I'm the Senior Vice President of Recycle My Battery. So I just wanted to explain um, what National Battery Day is. So every year on February 18th is National Battery Day. And this is a very important day for us because our organization revolves around disposing batteries the right way. And so on this day, we hope just like our other members said that before, to um, follow our pledge on this very special day because we need to make sure that our earth is okay. As, our, as this generation, whether you're an adult or a kid, we all need to work to help our mother earth and become a better planet. We want to reduce pollution that's caused by batteries and all this so that we can keep our earth the way it is. Many of us don't know about this one uh, recycling. So how do you convince the people? So what we do is a lot of times we will show real life examples of when these batteries, like throwing them out in the trash, have hurt our environment. Like Nihal mentioned before, the thing on the news, that's an example. We always like to show these examples and spread awareness using social media platforms. We go to schools and libraries and YMCA like this here. We go to a lot of public places and we try to tell everyone and educate them on this. So you are all putting uh, these boxes in some places. Uh, so who are providing these boxes to you? Uh, the people who are providing these boxes to us are Call to Recycle. And to say Call to Recycle is an amazing company. And also, we have tried in the beginning when we started this campaign, we had tried many places like Staples, uh, Home Depot, uh, home, Office Depot, and all this stuff. But they wouldn't accept it because they thought that how could a little kid like Nihal at that time could ha handle such a big organization like this. But the Call to Recycle was at our aid and was able to help us and give us free shipping for these uh, battery boxes so we could help uh, spread awareness about battery boxes and so that we could spread awareness that and make people come join Recycle My Battery. Okay. What's your name? My name is Rian Sapa. What is your part in this organization? My part is the vice president. Okay. So what is your teachers about this one? Do your teachers know about this one, what you are doing? Yeah, I emailed my teachers about this. And I would like to tell about them how I'm doing a presentation to my school as well. How are the response? They response? They respond by saying something like they're very, they appreciate this. They think it's a very good idea. Okay. Or do you want to say anything about this one? So... So recycling batteries, it's actually not too hard to do, but many people just ignore the fact that you actually can recycle batteries. That's the big problem why not, not many people are actually recycling batteries. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Hi, my name is Dev Sharia Dosapati. Okay, what is your part in this organization? Uh, I am an executive board member. Okay, what do you want to say? Today? I am here to say uh, thank you to Call to Recycle for helping us achieve our goal. Call to Recycle is the number one battery recycling organization in Canada and the US. And we are so glad that, that Call to Recycle is helping us achieve our goal. As you see, this battery bin would usually cost $115 just to purchase one. But thanks to Call to Recycle, they are giving us these battery bins for free. And once again, thank you, Call to Recycle. Okay, thank you guys. Now Nehal going to explain how to put the batteries in, the, in this basket. So can you please explain? Sure. So there are two types of batteries. One is just a single use battery, just a normal battery. And one is a 9 watt battery or more than that. So this is the outline battery. It's completely harmless, but it still has chemicals. People say that you can still throw these batteries in the trash. But since this contains zinc and etc., it's best required to recycle these properly. So this doesn't need a bad like you see over here. So you can just toss them so completely harmless into the battery bin. But we have a monster battery over here. This is more than 9 volts. It's a lead acid battery, I believe. So if in this case, if you have a battery like this, make sure to take a bad from here. So I have a bad here. And put it inside the bad for proper terminal protection. So you put this in the bad, and then you recycle it properly. So this is how you recycle the batteries properly. Rayansh, can you tell us National Battery Day Pledge? Yes, so this is our National Battery Day Pledge. So I speak up when I see people throwing batteries in the trash. 
I reach out to others and spread the awareness of recycling batteries properly. I serve the Mother Earth to make it a better place to live. This is the pledge we follow and we want others to follow it during Battery Day, February 18, 2022. Thank you so much. I have an amazing person with me as a part of today's program. Uh, the person who gave permission to keep beans in YMCA. Her name is uh, Christine Tolly. Uh, he is the uh, director of operations in YMCA. Uh, so, nice to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Thank you for being here. You are doing an amazing job to help the children. Um, how do you feel? I feel uh, overwhelmed. This is a great way to give back to the community and support our youth and uh, believe in their causes and to teach them early on about civil engagement and volunteerism. Okay. How much time it took to fill this box? It probably takes about uh, two to three weeks before the box is full. Um, we rely on a lot of our staff and our members to fill the box. Uh, we definitely saw a surplus during the holiday season when they were changing out batteries for new toys, which was great, as well as the fact that um, we are constantly putting social media posts out there to remind them about the battery recycling program. Okay, People who are putti uh, putting batteries in this box, um, are they asking any questions about this one? Uh, they're asking where the batteries go once they are uh, collected. They want to make sure that they're not going into a landfill or that they're not just being put into a regular garbage. Uh, we assure them that they're being properly disposed of uh, through the help and the aid of the children that are here with us today. Um, and any information that they've had, we've been able to direct them to the website. Initially, who approached you? Uh, initially, it was uh, one of the students' parents. So each sent an email saying that they were struggling to find somebody to um, host and be the site for battery collection, and we jumped at the opportunity to help somebody else. Yeah, I had, one, uh, I had one thing too. Actually, before they met so many people, so but uh, they got rejected. Why do you want to help them actually? Well, that actually saddens me because uh, they're youth and we want to make sure that we are supporting them and we are encouraging them to uh, be the future. We want to make sure that their voice is being heard and what they're doing is important. National Battery Day around the corner. What do you want to say? Uh, I want to say to make sure to recycle your batteries, and if you do not know of a location that's close to you, to look on the website and uh, look for further information. Actually, what you are doing is amazing. We are also appreciating for this. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you. If I can make a better place, then you can. If you can make the world a better place, we all can. This is National Battery Day special program. Uh, people who are watching this program, it's time to start. Don't worry if you have realized this issue. Everyone needs to start some point. But no matter it is big or small, you can make change. Please follow this one, whatever the kids said. Thank you. Thanks for watching Jay W and Jay Swarajya TV. Please subscribe Jay Swarajya TV. Hi guys, uh, this is Ari Shankar. Please subscribe to Jay Swarajya TV. Please subscribe to Swaraj TV. Please subscribe to Jai Swaraj TV. Jai Swaraj TV. Jai Swaraj TV. TV. Please sign up for Ublet. Ublet. Ublet app. Sign in. Avandi. Rakta dhanam chain.